Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. It is finally a good opportunity for us to change our religion. We have got by the sword, which gives us an limited kingdom level holy wars, which means that we want to be the one who's able to call them. We also um, have a ton of piety and generally most people like us and we can actually make them like us a lot more by paying them money. I think we're in a really good position to do this. However, we know we're about to inherit a kingdom. In fact, it's really not that far away. Our mother is 72 and poor health. It could be any moment now we inherit this kingdom. We would love to inherit it as a Catholic kingdom because then we can convert all of these people over to our new religion instantly and that seems like a pretty good idea. So, that's what we'd like to do. So, kind of means we're sitting here. But talking of titles, I was also asked a question in the comments about the Empire of Italia that we currently hold. And the question was, is there a reason now that we don't, uh, well, now that we know we're not going to get the papacy via, like, uh, diplomacy, which was the only reason we created the Empire of Italia, is there a reason to keep it? And the answer is, for now, yes. And it's linked to our religion. If we destroy this title... It's going to make all the de jure vassals of the Empire of Italia dislike us. Now, we want them to like us as much as possible because we want them, um, like, we want all of them uh, to turn to our new religion. And if they dislike us, they're more likely to not do that. So, right now, until we change our religion, we need to be a double emperor. It seems fine. You know what we are going to do though? We've we've not done this in a while and we've been putting it off a long time because it's quite a bit of work. But what we need to do is we need to do a little thing th down this list and we need to just have a look and see what we want to uh, change. Because there's quite a lot that we could change in this list um, to uh, change uh, obligations. So I think we should do that. Like for instance, we could do that. Uh, wait, why is he not mad at that? Did you not be like... Oh, no, because we're lowering his feudal levies. That's good. Yeah, what, what do I want to take for that? I'll take away his war sanctions. Yeah, let's do that. I know we just made this guy not like us, but I think this is fine. We're just trying to try and move people towards where we um, have been moving everybody all along. And we're just going to keep doing this. So extortionate, none, uh, coinage rights. And we can go very hard on the coinage rights as well. Because, um, yeah, we don't need any development growth in our capital anymore. And while they will get development growth in their capital, which seems pretty good to me. So let's do that. And now we just need to go down the list, basically just sorting everything out. Cool. You. Extortionate none. Coinage. Why can I not do this? Your obligations have already been changed. That's fair. High, low coinage. Is that better than March? Yeah, co coinage is probably the best one that we can do right now. That's fine. You. Extortionate low coinage. You. Extortionate low. Uh, you're already set. And this is going to make us a ton of extra money as well, which will be valuable. There we go. Extortionate none March. Uh, high, low coinage. High, low coinage. High, low coinage. Next one. Uh, low. That's it. <laughs> Next one. High, low coinage. Well, by it. Oh, you're already at extortionate. In fact, you're already set up exactly as I want you to be. Well done. Uh, low. Uh, low. Coinage. March. Too many. Oh, he's already changed. I've already changed his. Oh, okay. That's fine. I low coinage. You. Extortionate coinage. That's fine. Okay. I low coinage. Next one. Normal low coinage. Okay. You're already set up. That's fine. Next one. Like, ones that are old enough in our realm are probably going to be mostly set up. Oh, you've already changed yours to something ridiculous. I mean, look at this. Low none. What's going on with that? It's crazy. Uh, these are ones that I got from Germany, I think. Some of these ones. 
So they're all set up as they were when we got them. Yeah. I mean, you can have force partition on, but I don't really think you need it on. Yeah, I think we're happy with that. There's too many changes. Okay. Uh, you. Normal low coinage. Okay. Normal low coinage. Keep going down to... Oh, you're already extortionate. Low march. Take that away. There we go. The reason I'm taking away war declaration, by the way, is not because I don't want them declaring war, um, which I'm absolutely fine with. The reason I'm taking it away is it gives me uh, something to bargain with if they happen to change their... Uh, yeah, if they happen to change their contracts. Let's do that. That's probably best. Yeah, I want I want something to bargain with, um, so that we can say like, ah, we'll give you a war declaration because I don't care so much about that. That basically, you know, it's a free thing to trade. There we go. Uh, that. That's fine. Next one. Extortion at none granted. Uh, none granted. March? Yep, okay. I low granted. We are losing quite a lot of troops here, but we're making quite a lot of money. And um, it's going to increase development across the board. So this will be fine. Also, I'm thinking that when we change our religion, we're probably going to like end up much stronger. Because we're going to pick religion things that make sense gameplay-wise, rather than religion things that make sense um, historically. So that'll be fine. Also, having more money personally means I can do more buildings, which then means that we can build up more personal levies, which means that we're going to have better stuff there, and yeah, so on and so forth. You get you get the idea. You get the idea. Oh, you're already on extortionate. There we go. It's fine. High, low, granted. Uh, extortionate, none. Oh, you've already been changed. Okay. There we go. Switching everybody over. Oh, you've already been changed. High, low, granted. Next one. High, none, granted. Okay, extortionate, low, granted. It's fine. Keep going. High, low, granted. High, low, granted. These are all republics. They just pay us whatever they pay us. Normal, none, granted. Okay. Cool. So that's a lot of vassal contracts. We're making a significant amount more cash. We have a significant amount less troops. But the troops that we do have are of a higher quality overall as a percentage because um, our men-at-arms make up a larger percentage now that we reduce the number of levies, right? So we effectively reduced a bunch of bad troops and got ourselves a pile of money. That's what we're going with here. Uh, that's fine. Right. Also, now all our vassals should be stronger, so they should, in theory, go declare their own wars. Not that big a deal right now, but imagine if we change our religion. Denmark, sitting right next to Sweden, they're, they're looking very strong. They could easily declare their own wars. They have 17,000 troops. They could do that easily. So, yeah, it's something to think about. Right. Uh, now we've done that, uh, it's probably time to do some building, right? Let's, let's get everything up to where it needs to be. So I'm doing windmills. On our capital, that's fine. Uh, doing windmills here as well. On this one, doesn't really matter. Get that one. Dockham, get that one. Frizia, get that one. This one, windmills. Uh, water wheels. Actually, I probably actually here I want to replace. Uh, Figuring out which is the worst. Probably this one. I want to replace those with windmills. There we go. Because I want to increase development as quickly as possible. Here. Just keep upgrading. Keep upgrading. Uh, that's fine. I'm out of money. Wonderful. Right. Those are all going to finish very quickly. And we'll see where things go from there. Right, anything in here? Oh, a French uh, battle axe that needs repaired. Or Franco-Dutch um, 
Math, math lags. Yeah. Let's repair that. Seems good to me. Good. Right. These are about to finish, and we're about to earn even more. We're about to go over 900, I think. Be nice. 900 a month is fairly uh, reasonable, I would say. Right. Uh, somebody's trying to kill someone in my court, potentially. Not quite at 900 a month, but we're getting there. Uh, a couple of grain silos just about to finish. Okay, cool. Cool. Hey, new learning perk. What are we going to take? Uh, mental resilience is quite nice if we do get a mental break. Um, maybe iron, Constit iron constitution is really good as well. Yeah, let's go down there. Is there anything I need on this side? Uh, no, not really. I think we're fine on that side. I'm wondering whether I want to switch to like diplomacy or something for some reason. I'm just trying to think what I want from here. Maybe forced vassalage, although we won't need it. We've already done most of this. We could go to strategist and then maybe go down gallant as well. Here, I don't know. I'm just like thinking about it. We could go for that soon forgiven monthly tyranny, but it's really not worth it, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what we want to go for. We kind of have a bit of everything that we really need. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're uh, I think we're mostly fine. Um, oh yeah, it was pointed out there are a few things we could have done to get like a little extra vassalization with the Pope. I was just reminded myself there. Um, one of them is defensive negotiations. You get an alliance without a marriage that gives you the alliance bonus, which could have put us over. It would have only put us over, of course, if we had all the other things I'd listed last episode. Uh, and then there's another thing, which I've forgotten where it was, but like there's one other one that gives you a little extra uh, vassalization. So there are ways of doing it. It's physically possible. It wasn't possible where we were, but if we had been willing to put another like 100 uh, out, like uh, years in game on it, maybe it would have been possible. I don't know whether that's over or underestimating, but you get the idea. Um, in theory, it would be possible at some point. Uh, you are a genius, right? Yeah. yeah. I saw he was related to us, so assumed. There we go. My grandson's getting educated. This is my heir's son. Wait, is this my heir? No. No, this is not my eventual heir. You're my eventual heir. Okay, that's fine. Uh, okay. Cool. Chill. Stewardship just went up by one. Good. What's this? Let me to go to a hunt. I really want you to tell me what type of hunt it is, because I think I'm already maxed, right? On one of the two. I am maxed, so unless it's a falconer hunt, I'm not interested. Uh, so I'm going to say no. We could go on our own hunt, I suppose. We do have money. Uh, we could also host a grand tournament or something if we wanted to. Uh, we could also go on a pilgrimage or something. I don't know. Uh, we're kind of just stalling for time here. Um... Guess we could go for a grand tournament. It would give all of our knights extra glory, which I think is probably not unbeneficial. Let's just have a little look at how much this would cost, right? Let's just do a little um, thought experiment. Um, doesn't really matter what order they're in for us, honestly. As long as we don't choose any that have um, horse racing in it. A horse and foot, horse and foot. Jewel, fought on foot. All right, so it has to be a jewel. There we go. That's what we do here. Let's continue. Uh, this would be fine. Our champion would be our champion. Seems good to me. We would go for the maximum amount. Ooh, can't quite afford it. We're just like a little bit off. Okay. Can I unpause the game here? I can. Nice. I actually didn't know whether we could or not. We have another Gilbert. Give me the money. Give me the money. There we go. Right. And now we can do this. This is fine. Just checking before I do it. Yeah. We shouldn't die as long as we don't go to... Um, yeah, we shouldn't die as long as we don't go to the tourney grounds. Things open in 29 days. Okay. Let's chill here. Right. Um, hey, opened. Fantastic. 
Uh, that'll be my little notification to say these are going to open in seven days. Okay. I'm just going to spend my time in the temple. Temple is safe. Let's try and increase my score. Bunch of people are learning of stuff. You, you, I've learned of this person's witch secret and they gained opinion of me. Wait, am I a witch? No, I, I murdered people, but I'm not a witch. Okay, that's good. That's what I wanted to see. Go to the village. Uh, Merrymaking. Uh, my subjects will be delighted to see me there or I must not deviate. Alright, I'll go. I'll lower my stress. Alright, guests are arriving. That's what we like to see. Oh, we'll lose land if you inherit, will we? Will we? Oh, really? Um, doesn't look like we'll lose land. Okay. It's very weird how we have to go in there and check each time. That's fine. Um, people are gaining glory. That's what we would like to see. This duchess is coming into our court. She gave us renown. Good. Right, we will now go to the temple. Uh, this person's doing some sacrilege. I'll tell them to get out. I guess. Seems fine. Hey, I can ask my head of faith for gold. Do you think uh, he'll say yes? Oh, look at that. He did. Hmm. That's nice of him, wasn't it? Yeah, he really had a choice being my uh, vassal and all. Right. Here we go. Uh, Ile de France. Let's upgrade that one. Holland. We'll upgrade that. Just Friesland. We're going to upgrade that. Almost out of money. Zealand. We'll upgrade your walls and towers. Upgrade your walls and towers. Upgrade your castle. And upgrade your watermill. Nice. Right. Back over here. Go back to the temple soon. That's fine. Right. Temple. Uh, I can try and find my ancestors in uh, the tombstones. Sure. Why not? I found them. Well done, me. Right. Time for some archery. Okay. I'm not going to cheat. Uh, we can get a great increase here, but apparently it caused me to be lazy. Or it caused me stress because I'm lazy. We do need the bow experience. Also, we can finally see this again. Yeah, we're not quite there on horse. We need to go on more trips to get horse up. All right, let's do this, though. Um... Let's get a great increase because we want to get the bow one one. Uh, I can do a successful wound treatment here and lose some stress. Okay. That seems good. Now, um, we want an 89% chance of a good shot. And did we win? I think we did. Wonderful. We won. And that gets us winning the tournament, gets us merry aim, and will get us a ton of um, experience at the end. Temple. I clicked on the temple. I don't like that it's done nothing. That's what it did when it broke and killed us previously. Hey, we discovered the Royal Armory. That's the one that lets us build the military buildings. Uh, <laughs> okay, there's a lot we can st uh, still research here. Um, I guess court officials for an extra domain is probably pretty good. Yeah, my acquaintance died. There's a new pope. Okay. Pope uh, Gregorius, who is another Cisalpine pope. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, back in here. I'll go to the village. Uh, I want to get cheery disposition. Sure, why not? That's fine. I want to go to the temple again in a few days. Let's go. Uh, I'm not seeing any event from the temple. I'm getting a little worried about the temple. I think I might not go to the temple again. <laughs> As in, at least not in this tournament. Um, I'm going to boo this guy. Loses me stress. Um, taking opportunity. I, if I can buy Robert a drink, he'll insist to pay. Sure, why not? And it lowers my stress. Not that we had any. Here, we'll go for an 86% chance of a moderate increase. We'll spit one last verse, and I think we just won. Fantastic. We have won the recital. Well done, us. Right, uh, I'm going to go to the village. 
Um, old as stone. Um, a visit to Holland was exactly what I needed to relax before the contest. As I promenade through the streets, I see local children emulating a battle, using sticks as their weapons and yelling some for the honour of my house in multiple arg. I stop to admire one of the prominent buildings, proudly standing in the middle of the square. As I inspect it a bit, however, uh, or as I inspect it a bit closer, however, I quickly notice some ancient inscriptions, which I've read, which increases my score. Well done, me. All right, back to the village again soon. We lost our executioner. Shocking. Back to the village. I learned of somebody's secrets. Okay. What's this? A knight became a blade master. That's fair. Um, let's do this. Guardian for my grandson. My grandson needs a stewardship education. Any of you like geniuses? You're like a genius, except that you're not quite as smart. Uh, you're a genius. Okay, there you go. Educate my grandson. I'm sending him to university, by the way. Cool. Right, uh, where were we? Uh, back to... Posting activity. Oh, we're finishing a bunch of buildings. We're now making over a thousand gold per month, by the way. Just as an FYI. It's pretty good. Um, hey, we're ready. I will, I am ready. Okay. I'm going to knock this person out. Progress to victory is 100%. That's pretty good. Our champion did not qualify for the tournament. Shocking. Let's say I can do this. Uh, I'm going to call a judge because he was cheating. I'm then going to go for an 86% chance. And I won. Well done, me. Okay. There's yet another win. Victory. Now it's the final round. Um, I'm going to get a great increase. I did. I'm going to go for an 86%. And we win again. Fantastic. Yet another tournament victory for us. And we won. Aha. Uh -huh. And more money back in our pockets. Let's go to the village. Um, I don't know what we're going to say here. Rivalry... You get glory here. This person can well proclaim something. I don't know. Let's do this one. This gets us glory. I'm, I probably could read it because I don't know if we've done all the village events. But I'm also at the point where I'm like, I really want the tournaments to go a little quicker. So I'm going to try and do things that make them go quicker. Might mean a little skimming. Back alley. Hey you, you're my knight now. Um, no. Um, those are some impressive moves. Let me study them. Or what are you looking at? We get calm streets for 15 years. I'm going to study your moves. Increase my score. Then I'm going to go to... Oh, right, to this. This is fine. I'm going to flex, increasing my score. Then I'm going to hit with an 89%. Which I think I just lost. Wow. I must have got one of the... I must have got the 11%. We did not win wrestling. However, I am going to disqualify him. I won! Well done, me! Alright. That's fine. Um, I want to win. I'm going to go with for whichever one of these has the highest. I think it's the middle one. Game paused. Made me very worried. I think I won that one legitimately. Well done, us. Okay. Victory. I can do this. Hiya. And an 89%. Oh, and look at that. It's a 100%. It's a victory for us. Wow. Completely undefeated throughout the tournament, despite people trying to cheat. Crazy. Accomplished Grappler is the one with the huge health boost. Love it. I'm going to go to the village again. Uh, we can get Starstruck here. Okay. Sure. Why not? Loses me stress. It's fine. Um, well, how's everything doing? My brother-in-law in France died. I have lost my alliance with France. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, France. You're now up. Aha. Uh -huh. Seems good, doesn't it? Seems very good. You need a guardian. Uh, you're doing some kind of learning education? I don't know. 
you any good at things? You're shrewd. Sure, why not? Also, why don't you go to university? Seems fine. Right. Okay. What's that? Night improved. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go to the village again. Uh, I can spend money to get this dude. I don't know why I would, though. Uh, I'm going to get supported for a night for an extra diplomacy. There we go. And now it is time for us to win yet another one. It's the duel contest. Wait, what's the previous contest? Oh, it was wrestling, not a duel. Uh, I'm going to go for the 99% chance I lower his score. Then I'm going to go for the 89% on our side here. It's a victory. Great, we have won a duel. That's what we wanted to do. Next, I'm going to beat this guy. Um, I'm going to gain opinion with him. Then I'm going to go for 89%. And then I defeated him. Wonderful. And now we're going into the final. Victory. And then this person resigned. Fantastic. Wait, that was only the semi-final. Okay. But he already resigned. Yeah, I won. Fantastic. We get gifted duelist, which gives us prowess per level of fame. Our prowess is going to be insane at the end of this. I'm going to give a few words because I'm the host. Any of these any good? Nope. Whoa. Back at here. Bo. Nope. Nope, none of them are good enough. I'll give a few words because I'm the host and I get more opinion. We did a tournament without dying. Well done, us. Right. Clear out this. Clear out this. And uh, clear out this list. And now, I kind of think it's probably time. One for us to figure out what we're doing here. I'll just repair that, whatever. And uh, I'll destroy that. It's time for us to potentially attack France. That would, that would make quite a lot of people in the comments happy. They've been saying, how are you feeling fine? Shocking. Also, who are you married to? You're married to my cousin, who's 19. Shocking. Anyway, um, yeah, people have been saying they don't really like how France is kind of like an eyesore in the middle of our realm. I think we could remove it. It would also give us a chance of the mega name. There's a chance that the name will curve from here to here. And that will look great. Anyway, because it's the end of the episode, skip over here. The Mongol Empire. How did you do in your previous war? I assume you won it because your domain is 12 out of 10. Which must mean that you took the land that was over here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, literally they just needed to actually siege it and then they won. That was the one that they were losing due to taking war score. Who are they against now? They're attacking... Oh, they're attacking the Faramarzids in the Mongol invasion of the Arabian Empire. Now, what I will say is they do appear to be running out of steam in terms of number of troops they have. But, they have a huge... Uh, oh, I was going to say they have a um, huge advantage in that this place fell apart. But these guys still have 30,000 and they've gotten allies that have pushed them up to 60. They do not have the advantage here. Huh. Interesting. Well, that might be where the Mongol Empire stops. Which is kind of disappointing. They're really large, but they're not even as, like, dangerous as the Byzantines sort of are. I mean, they're currently in a war for somebody's claim, but, like, yeah. Um, if they were whole, the, Bi the Byzantines are much more scary. But hey, whatever. We're living life over here. All of this is ours, and we're going to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.